Hello there, family. God bless you. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. Um, you already know to me it's always a great pleasure to come your way. Each time God lays a fresh word in my spirit, I'm always so excited to release that word because I know it's a word that is coming to give someone direction. It's coming to um, confirm a word you had heard. It's coming to um, liberate and set free. You know, whenever God gives me a fresh word, I'm always excited. And right now I am. And I know someone is about to receive a confirmation, a direction, a redirection, whatever the case may be. So if this is the first time you see me, the first time you're coming across my channel or the first time you decided to click on my video god bless you and thank you so much for deciding to do that thank you for yielding to the leadership of the spirit because i really do believe that this is god leading you to this channel and my prayer is that you stick around long enough to hear what god has for you on this platform hallelujah and to my returning subscribers you already know that i love you so much you are the reason why i come here you're the reason why i I, I, you know, I am attentive enough to hear what God is saying. I'm, I'm always vigilant. I'm always conscious because I know that I am a vessel through which God ministers to his people. God bless you. I love you so much. Thank you for being a part of my life. Thank you for being a part of, a part of this platform. God bless you tremendously. Hallelujah. God says someone refused to let go and he had to take a drastic decision. Someone refused to let go and he had to take a drastic decision when god gave me this prophetic word what came to my spirit is um persistence i thought of um someone who is persistent someone who refuses to let go someone who refuses to give up you know, there are times in your life when you tell yourself, if I, have, if I have never needed the Lord before, I sure need Him now. There are times in your life when things are not just working. There are times in your life when, you know, you have come to the end of yourself and you need to see the hand of God. You need to see another side of God. Yes, you have experienced God in your life. You have experienced God in certain aspects of your life. But there comes a time when you really want to see God in another light. You want to exploit another dimension of God. And it, your, um, what determines that you are able to see that is your persistence, your consistency, how much you are willing to give, how much you are willing to fight to get that. There are, there are so many people in the Bible, so many um, um, categories of people in the Bible. And they are the category of people who know how to war to get what they want from God. The Bible says, from the days of John the Baptist till now, the kingdom of God suffers violence and only the violent take it by force. It means there are certain things about your life that you've got to take it by force. There are certain aspects of your life that you don't just have to say, oh God, let your will be done. No, you've got to be persistent. You've got to fight. You've got to be determined and say, I am not letting you go until you bless me like Jacob did probably God did not intend to do anything God did not intend for an encounter to happen but Jacob saw himself in a place where there was an encounter and he refused to let go he said I am not letting you go let's read that it's in the book of Jacob um, <laughs> I wanted to say the book of Jacob is in the book of Genesis chapter 20 chapter 32 from verse 24 Genesis 32 from verse 24, the Bible says, So Jacob was left alone. Now, let me give you the background of the story. Jacob had left his father-in-law and he was on his way to meet his brother. So he sent gifts ahead. He sent his wives ahead and he stayed back. And so why he, he stayed back to just seek the face of God? You know, he was running away from his brother because he had stolen his brother's bed, right? So he wasn't sure of how the meeting would be. He sent gifts, he sent his servant and he sent his wife to go and pacify his brother before he comes. And while he stayed back, he, he laid, he said, he slept somewhere. So verse 24 says, so Jacob was left alone 
and a man came and wrestled with him until daybreak. When the man saw that he had not prevailed against Jacob, he touched his hip joint, and Jacob's hip was dislocated as he wrestled with him. Then he said, Let me go, for day is breaking. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you declare a blessing on me. So he asked him, What is your name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, your name shall no longer be Jacob. You know what Jacob means, right? Jacob means supplanter. It means karma. It means a deceiver and all of that. He says right now, your name will no longer be Jacob, but it will be Israel. For you have struggled with God and with men and have prevailed. He has, you, have, you have wrestled with God and with man and have, pre and have prevailed. This got my attention. So God did not just, the angel of the Lord, or God in this case, did not just change the name of Jacob because he wrestled with him. No, he acknowledged the fact that he wrestled with God. He wrestled even with man and he prevailed. The Bible says even while he was in the womb, he wrestled with his brother. Let's get that. Um, I think it's the book of Hos Hosea. Hosea chapter 12. Let's get that. Hosea chapter 12, verse 3 says, In their mother's womb, he took his brother by the heel, and in his maturity he contended with God. It means he has been fighting. Jacob did not just get lucky. No, he has been fighting from his mother's womb. He fought. He wanted to come out the first, but his brother went ahead. But he wrestled so hard, he wanted to be the first. Verse 4 says, that is um, Hosea chapter 12 from verse 3 and 4. Verse 4 says, he wrestled with the angel and prevailed. He kept in repentance and sought his favor. He met him at Bethel, and there God spoke with him and through with him. When, when I was reading this, God told me there are certain times in your life where you've got to fight, where you do not take no for an answer, where you put up a fight, you make up your mind on something, this is what I desire, and you put in a fight to get it. It is the violence that take it by force. There are certain things that will not be handed to you on a platter. You've got to wrestle for it. You've got to fight for it. And there are different ways of fighting. There are different ways of fighting. There are times you have to fight by prayers. There are times you have to fight by being consistent in asking. There are times you have to fight by, by upping your game, getting more skills, training more to better yourself in that field so you can, you can, you can stand as a worthy, um, how do I call it, a worthy competition. You cannot just fold your hands, your hands and say, oh, let the will of God be done. No. If you think you're deserving of something, if you think you need something, you want something, the Bible says that God will grant us the desires of our heart. And so if you desire it and you fight for it, God is going to give it to you. The angel of the Lord or Jacob wrestled with the angel of the Lord. And the angel was like, please let me go. It's about to be daybreak and men are going to come. And he said, I will not let you go until you bless me. I, I, am, I am determined. There are times you take on the fast because you want a situation to change in your life. You embark on a fast and you tell God, I am not letting go. I am not stopping this fast. I am not stopping this prayer until you address this issue about my life. I am not letting go of this aspect of my life until you speak to me about it. We have to learn to be consistent and persistent in the place of prayer. I have spoken with so many people who just um, they pray for one minute and they are like, oh, I'm so discouraged. I can't do this anymore. I don't think God wants this to change. Of course. God wants it to change. How tough are you willing to fight? How long are you willing to wait? Do you really know what you want? What can you give in exchange for it? God took a drastic decision. Even after dislocating Jacob's hip bone, he did not let go. 
He did not let go. He said, I'd rather die like Esther. Esther said, I perish, I perish. I'm about to take this fast. I don't know how it's going to be. I perish, I perish. But I need to gain the favor of the king. I need someone to leave this video determined. Determined to pray until something happen. Determined to fast until something happen. Determined to up their game so that they are deserving of a promotion. We have already seen that if you are persistent enough, God will have no choice but to give it to you. Hallelujah. I pray for you in the name of Jesus that there will be a divine enablement. You will be able to do that which is going to, that is required of you to get that which you are believing God for in the mighty name of Jesus. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Shalom.